Hello, I'm Alice. Please join me as I travel to Sri Lanka, known as the Jewel of the Indian Ocean, home of the rupee and the most poisonous snakes per square foot on earth. Lion beer and a rich history of Buddhism, art, and a very colorful culture. Let's start here as I travel from Colombo to Candy. It's fucking hot here, in Sri Lanka. Um, just got on the train, which I think is the right train. Uh, I'm in Colombo Fort, heading towards uh, Candy. It's supposed to be beautiful. Let's see what happens. I came across the Temple of the Tooth Relic who has the remains of the Tooth of the Buddha. I feel pretty fortunate to have wandered in here while they were in the middle of their ceremony. After thousands of years of dramatic journey to say the least, the remnant of the Tooth of Buddha after their cremation remains here along with a museum dedicated to the precious offerings of gold, jewels, and currency made by kings, noblemen, and devotees across space and time. So this is a egg and vegetable roti, is what they call them. Basically like a Sri Lankan breakfast burrito. Man, the flavor in here is awesome. Well worth getting the street food here in Sri Lanka. That's my ride. All right, so uh, it's like 6 a.m. We're going to Sigri Rock and uh, it's gonna see Rad Temple. So we're, we're here in Sigiriya. Got picked up really early. Uh, got a private tuk-tuk up here about two and a half hours. And um, we're gonna climb what they call Lion Rock. Although there's a lot of controversy uh, and mystery behind who built it and when it was built and the paws um, even being that of a lion and they actually kind of represent more of uh, a reptilian animal and supposed to be built about I think 15 to 1700 years ago um, although there's a lot of evidence uh, in the surrounding areas of inhabitants over 5,000 years ago um, that toe right there, that toe is saying that it's not really long, that this animal belonged to some type of reptilian animal thousands of years ago. That's, that's part of the mystery of this place. Pretty amazing up here. Bit of a climb, but definitely well worth it. Pretty powerful place, and I found some secret caves. Secret caves. We're here in Dambula. We're gonna visit the famous cave temple. Be able to climb.
I researched the train in Sri Lanka, everything that came up was saying how this is just like one of the most beautiful train rides in the world. And I didn't really, couldn't really put that in context. I was there and it was just one of the most beautiful experiences. Kind of taking a random day and walking these train tracks here in Ella. Hello. Oh. So walking through the sticks, I, I found a friend and she's helped guiding me. We're gonna go see Ella Rock. Look how beautiful this place is. And my green cottage is over yeah. there. Yeah. That's, That's where I'm staying. So this is where that other view was. Uh, Ceylon tea. Oh, uh, Ceylon tea. Yes. Beautiful. So this is white, green, and black. black. It depends on how it's harvested. Which one is this? No, not, not. That's tea. not tea. It's the. This. This is tea. The babies. It's not quality. Mm. Are there snakes over here? No. Why don't you come back? Sometimes? Oh no, uh, that's a cobra. And then they're cobras. Yes. So stay out of that area. What? Don't walk in that area? No, no, no. no. Okay, good. It's quickly uh, come the horse. King cobras come out of that. So it was kind of cool uh, walking through the jungle with with that weird old woman I just kind of met you know, like on the trail. She helped guide me down to the waterfall and pointed out a few things. And as I'm walking through there, I was just kind of thinking, you know, Sri Lanka has the most 
poisonous snakes per square foot uh, on anywhere in the planet. Walking by the train tracks and, and found this little cool dive spot here. Ordered some, some veggie noodles and some juice. You know it's gonna be fresh. All right, so I'm walking down to the Hall Bay Tea Factory. We're gonna do a little tea tour, which should be interesting. So we are here in LA at a tea factory and we're gonna take a tea factory tour. So many people don't know that green tea, black tea, and white tea all come from the same bush. You can see here the younger leaves that are lighter in color are the ones to be harvested. The adult leaves, which are the darker, green ones underneath um, don't get used at all. They're really bitter. You can see here um, the young leaf, how it's semi-wilted. Uh, it's about a day old and here it's going into the drying process. Green tea leaves are harvested, withered, and then heated through a steaming or pan-fired. This process halts the oxidation so the leaves retain their color and delicate fresh flavor. Black tea, however, the leaves are harvested, withered, and then crushed, torn, or rolled. As you can see, the machine here is a rolling machine and it allows oxidation before being dried. As a result, the leaves darken and develop a stronger flavor, aroma, and has more caffeine. You can see here that they are divided then by size of what's left over after the drying process. There's six different sizes and the different sizes are used either in tea bags or loose leaf. And the different sizes you can see here produce the different strengths. And I bought myself some of the loose leaf. I got 250 grams for like 600 rupees and now I'm enjoying a nice cup of tea with this amazing view. So I got up a little bit early today and I'm walking through the jungle and I think I just heard an elephant. Um, found this really cool bridge. It's called Nine Arches. Oh, that was not an elephant, that was the train. huge crash right on the unit here. I come outside, this fucking tree fell on my house. The shortest distance between two towns is uh, railroad. So I'm kind of hoboing it um, from Una Watuna to Galley. Spend the the last uh, few days there, find a PCR test, and then heading to Thailand. Yeah, you guys just opened your borders. Yeah. I live in Imunotra, my own is there. Uh huh. And uh, I also have a villa also. Nice. It is good. So we're here in Gala and uh, we're gonna go check out an old fort. It's kind of the main attraction here. So here we are at the old fort in Gala. Um, it's like Cuba and India had a baby with a touch of like old Charleston or something. 
It's got some of these really cool colonial buildings, uh, a lot of rich history here, and everybody's like so friendly. Um, they'll invite you in or offer you a ride or offer to do your laundry or cook you a meal or something. Um, it's really cool. Now, of course, in like a tourist community, uh, they feed off of, you know, making money from you, but they're not aggressive about it. Um, they're really friendly about it and it's just a really cool place to be. I'll definitely be coming back here someday, hopefully. I swear, it was sunny like five minutes ago. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. The storms just like roll in out of nowhere. I don't know if you saw that lightning. I wasn't sure if I should bring my rain jacket, but this is the second day in a row that I've been caught in a storm. And I swear it was sunny like five minutes ago. Decided to take a little bit of a, a stroll in the rain. I was kind of hungry, so I went out and found some, some food. Uh, but even the streets, at night in the rain, are, are pretty cool. So I'm here at the local hospital and I just got my PCR test. Uh, a lot easier and cheaper than it was in Cambodia. So 24 hours with me luck. And then I'm off to Thailand. All right, fresh fish coming up. Oh, yeah. Awesome, thank you for grabbing that. This guy uh, basically just went to the fish market to grab me some fish because he said that the fish that I ordered was a few days old and the fish market was like right down the street so he was kind enough to go down to the market to grab some fish and i'm pretty stoked right now to eat here in this beautiful area is it just me or does the statue look like fucking tom Mark? Well, I think I made it to my stay just in time because it just started raining. Uh, third day in a row that the storm came without any warning, but uh, I made it home this time. I'm pretty stoked. All right, so it's my last full day here in Sri Lanka. I decided to hit one of the corner stores here and uh, get some of their street food. Uh, and some fresh juice. Okay, so just got my train ticket out of here. Uh, well, went on an island, so train ticket to the airport. But final thoughts, uh, I'm super grateful that I was able to spend the time here that I was able to. And if you step out of your comfort zone and you make it over to Sri Lanka, I hope that you indulge yourself in the culture and the food and the people like I did. Um, just watch out for spiders, snakes, and scorps. Other than that, man, I, I just had a great time here. 
It's cheap, people are friendly, super grateful right now. Uh, if you could, you'd like the video, leave a comment, uh, send me a like, I don't know. This is my first travel vlog, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. What's up? Yeah. Nice to see you.